Ladies and gentlemen, let's continue the action in the welterweight division. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting under the red corner, wearing the white trunks, trimmed with blue, weighing in at 10 stones, 6 pounds, 10 ounces. Taking part in his 15th professional contest, would you please welcome from Burstall, David Smiles. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, trimmed with gold, and weighing in at 10 stone, 11 and 3 quarter pounds, undefeated in seven contests, seven wins, four inside the scheduled distance. He's from Liverpool. Please welcome Gary Ryder. <laughs> Timekeeper at the bell is Colin Robertson, referee in charge of the action, is Mr. Keith Garner, and this is six three minute rounds. Ryder. I, I just want a good clean contest, breaking my toes to break, punch another part of the closed glove, opponent gets knocked down, you go to the first neutral corner, shake hands now, commence for the last round, good luck. Well, Gary Ryder has made a thoroughly good impression in recent times, for us, former sparring partner of Shea you know? Neary, oh. that exciting Liverpool fighter. Ryder in the black trunks, in here with David Smales, a 24-year-old from Burstall in Yorkshire, who's won his last three, so seems to be improving. And that gives him a total record of seven wins, seven defeats, and a couple of draws. And his right hand from Ryder gets him early. Good shot. Mandatory eight count. Caught around the temple, disorientating punch. Ryder might do this in the round as well. Leaving himself pretty open, wants a tear up. Another left hook. These could be suicide tactics for Smales. They are, he's down again. Only the ropes kept him up, he bounces up. Second count, and we have only gone three quarters of a minute and the fight is stopped. It is over, and Gary Ryder just blew his man away there. Eight out of eight for him. Five inside schedule. And he's a bit of a surprise packet, this fellow. He's 30 years of age. He's beaten Kevin Bennett. That was a bit of a shock at the time. He's beaten the useful Glenn McLaren. And here, well, we thought he'd win against a win-some, lose-some kind of club fighter from Yorkshire, David Smiles. But it was the way he did it, wasn't it? Yep, explosive right hand, really found the chin. Pretty easy there, looping punch. The tall upright Smales just left himself home for that excellent punch. Did well to get up from that Smales because that was terrific. And he just kept the pressure on after that. I quite like this rider. He, he's an old fashioned tough guy, isn't he? Yep, he is. He's a, he's a bruiser. He's tough. He's exciting. Really lets the shots go. And that was a good win for him there. Had a couple of tough fights recently, good wins over Kevin Bennett and Glenn McClellan and then he made really short work here of David Smales. And they were suicide tactics that Smales employed there really, trying to go toe to toe with him. And there was only one outcome uh, from all of that. Question about Ryder though, is, is he really a light welterweight? Because tonight he was weighing 10 stone 11 and three quarters. So that suggests to me that he's probably more like a welter. Yeah, probably so. He obviously can get down, but it must be a bit of a, of a difficulty to do that and the referee exactly right there to call it off he was going to take a lot more could be a bit of value keep your eye on him gary Ryder from liverpool ladies and gentlemen timekeeper colin roberts recorded a time of 52 seconds of the first round referee keith garner has stopped the contest smells in no position to continue your winner, and still undefeated from Liverpool, Gary Ryder. A lecture appreciation, please, for Burstall's David Smiles. We are trying to mark your card about fighters emerging in the Northwest who could be something. So, Ryder seems appropriate for the job. Well done to him, and there'll be more action from this card in Manchester before we finish here tonight. But after such a brisk workout, Maybe it's time we got to know Gary Ryder just a little bit better. Adam's waiting to talk to him now. Well, Gary, I'm beaten in eight. It's been a bit of a slow burning career, but nothing slow about the performance tonight. Yeah. Fantastic. Ill illness, you know, I had illness, things wrong. That's what I was out for three years. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure they've been a champion now. But 
you know, better now than never. You look pretty spectacular in there. Well, try me hardest, work hard, I'm here to fight. You've had some good wins over Kevin Bennett and Glenn McClarnan. How far do you think you can go? Are you the, the mystery man in the light welterweight division? And can you make light welter? Yeah, I can make it. It was 10 stone 3 on Thursday. And so the opponent pulled out and he brought an heavy lad in. And I just to weigh in tonight at my own weight then. So I'm too. So, but I can do light welter. And do you think you can get into the mix with Ricky Hatton and Eamon McGee, Junior yeah, Witter? You know, Who do you want? <laughs> you know, I'm here to fight and win. And that's it. You know, I try my hardest. Whatever comes of it, comes of it. But, a title shot in you then? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Wish you the best of luck. We hope to see you again. Cheers, Gary. Well done tonight. Okay. Well done indeed. A man of few words, but then when he's performing like that, he doesn't need to say anything. <laughs> he, he does his talking in the ring. He punches. Whatever he says goes. He, absolutely. He can punch really hard. But I worry about him. He, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's living a bit of a lie in that he's very, very big for the late welterweight division. I mean, if he took his, if he got down to 10 stone, that would take a lot of his strength away. He's a terrific puncher, a terrific fighter, and it's great to watch him. I, and he is definitely, as Ian said, a throwback. It's great to watch that type of fighter and very, very exciting. But he leads us to believe, Barry, that he sees himself in championship matches at the light welter yeah. weight well, limit. What yes. do you say about that? Well, I, I don't know that he'd be as devastating at that as that at 10 stone. It would, you know, he'd lose muscle mass getting down to 10 stone, and it would take a bit of his strength and his snap and his power away. However, he's a very exciting kid, and he's not exactly a kid, is he, at 30? But I wish him the best. No, but we need to take it seriously when Absolutely. he tells us that he has had three years out of the ring because yeah, of illness. that's true, and, and you can see that there isn't that much wear and tear. For that type of a fighter, there's not a lot of wear and tear on him. However, you've got to be realistic and think if he actually boils himself down to nine stone 13 and a half or 10 stone will it take a bit of his power away he needs to get on with title fights needs to get them soon this one was billed as super featherweight tonight and that's how they started jamie mckeever from birkenhead 22